Hello. Uh, today and next class, you're going to be working on your Frank Stella project. So if you remember, I explained this to you the last time that I had seen you. And Frank Stella is an artist, okay, modern artist. Um, and one of the series that he did um, in the 70s, I believe it was, was a protractor project or a protractor series. So all the shapes that he created utilized only um, you know, the semicircle of a protractor along with the straight line of a protractor. And so this is Frank Stella back when he was younger. Um, this is him a little bit older. I don't know exactly how old he is um, with that. So what are you going to be doing? On your large white piece of paper, and you're going to basically fill in your entire white piece of paper, okay, with shapes and with colors and that type of stuff. I'm going to link this to the classroom page, okay? So you can come and look at these just as an example. Obviously, these do not cover the whole page. That's fine. Um, this doesn't. Yours will, but this does not. And just going to give you some ideas of, you know, using the different colors and the different shapes that are within there. I mean, you made a nice little uh, flower in there with a few other things. Okay, we got some circles here. Um, this one's kind of neat the way that it was colored in because it makes it look like parts are on top of other parts. Okay, it gives it some kind of depth, which is kind of a neat little thing. Um, this one's kind of cool with all the different colors going back and forth. Obviously, it's a little bit more uh, intricate. This one's really neat. Okay, this is kind of closer to like what you're going to be doing. I mean, like you can have things like this, but you're going to cover the entire page. Something like this, too. I mean, it's almost like an Andy Warhol thing. Um, okay, entire page is colored, but you notice it's a lot of intricacies. There's a lot of little details in there. And that's stuff that we're going to be looking for. Like this one, honestly, it's, well, you got the depth is kind of cool. It doesn't have a lot of like intricate details in there. Okay, since this is a two-day project, you're going to be, you know, you're going to take the two days to, to make it detailed and intricate um, and have a little bit of fun with that. Okay. Um, so this is your chance to get creative. Okay, so obviously something like this is way too sparse for what you're going to do, but it can give you some nice ideas. Look at that. I mean, you got two footballs on there just from, uh, you know, the protractor. You don't use the entire semicircle; you just use part of it and create something kind of neat. Um, some really neat things here. Okay, um, just a couple other ones. This one's really kind of neat. I like how these curves have depth where the, sometimes they'll go, it's almost like a basket weave where they'll go on top of some and go underneath other parts. Um, so like here, this goes on top of the blue, uh, but yet it goes under the whatever color that happens to be. I'm not really sure. Um, but I really like the kind of the weaving and intricate intricacies of that. So it's just nice little ways that you can design it. Oh, and by the way, I guess the original of this sold for um, yeah a couple of million dollars. It's kind of interesting. This one is called Hyper Allergic. Um, I don't know if it's actually part of his protractor series, to be flat honest with you, but it looks like it could be. So I think this, you know, again, this is just other ideas for you to um, have. Kind of like this one as well. Okay, a lot of detail as it flows. Um, this one just happens to be relatively symmetric. They don't all have to be symmetric, okay? You get to be as creative as you can. Now, um, like I said, you have two days to do this, okay? If you happen to finish after day one, um, yeah, you'll get another piece of paper and you'll do a second one. That's just kind of what it is. You have two days to work on this, okay? If at the end of day two, you are not finished, as long as you're working hard, I don't really fret it. Um, what's gonna happen is on the third class, okay, where I'm not with you, uh, there's going to be a big ideas assignment. And what you'll do is you will, once your big ideas assignment is finished, you can go back and work on this, okay? Um, what happens if you finish the big ideas assignment? Don't worry, I'm not gonna give you that answer today because that's not for two more classes. So. Good luck, work hard, try to make it as colorful as you can. And at the end of day one, you're going to hand back in the piece of paper and the protractor to the sub. You'll get it back the next day. Okay. Have a wonderful time working on this project. Um, and I'll see you in a couple of days.